Alright guys, Tony Hong here, and let's talk about gloves. I hate them. <laughs> I don't know about you. I just don't like wearing gloves that much. Um, especially like thick ones for the winter. Um, really hate it, but it, I mean you're out there when it's 30 degrees and the wind's blowing and you do need them and, you sh and if you leave them in the car you're gonna wish you had them. So okay so they are a necessity sometimes and uh, let's go through some of them these are a couple a few that I use um, let's say for let's say for boating like if I'm black fishing or or even at the dock uh, loading up on some bait uh, going for herring I would use maybe something like this uh, this uh, I got this uh, a couple of years ago uh, from Cabela's and uh, it's pretty much just a wind blocker there's some there's some fleece in here, um, fleece in here, but this is kind of uh, one of those convertible mitten gloves. So this is not, this one's a little small. I, I'm a large hand size large, but these are an extra large, and extra large fits me perfect. Okay, so let's put this one on. Okay, so you got some uh, some grips here, um, and then you got the mittens. I guess once you um, tied up and uh, or handle fish, whatever, uh, and you cast again, wind's blowing, it's cold out. Put your fingers, exposed fingers, right back into those mittens. And I've used this a few times. It does work pretty good. Uh, but it's not the most dexterous. Yeah, so so these are these are one way of going about it. Okay. Um, now for surf casters, I use this a lot. Uh, this is one that's like uh, middle. Start using this like in the middle November. Pretty much around now, uh, I should be using these, but it's really not that bad. Um, I just want to use these when I really have to. I mean, not when, not when it's like 45 degrees. Uh, 45 degrees, I could pretty much handle it. I don't need neoprene gloves. Uh, when it gets down to like 40, 35, yeah, definitely gonna need these, especially if it's windy. Uh, something about these, these are not waterproof. Water will get in. They fit really good though. Bulky, that's one thing. Uh, bulky. There's no way you're gonna be tying, uh, tying lines with these. You're gonna have to take your uh, your gloves off. Uh, but they do fit nice. They're comfortable. Uh, they give you a lot. There's a lot of padding. Uh, like if you're on a rock or something like uh, on a jetty. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty protective, I suppose. Uh, a lot of grip here. The grip, it, it hasn't worn out really, not much. It's it's holding on pretty good. Um, I don't know what they call this Kevlar or something like that, but it's it's soft. It, I don't think it damages the braid or anything like that. Uh, I kind of I was kind of hesitant because when I first got these, these were a little bit harder, a scratchier. Now they've gotten pretty soft, so I don't really worry about the braid fraying up because uh, using this. But I guess it's better to have this than just the neoprene for casting for, for braid yeah so these are so already getting warm <laughs> but the thing about this like I said it's not uh, um, it's not waterproof water will get in your hands will get wet uh, but it's the fact that once water does get in uh, that water that's inside uh, it's going to heat up your your body heat your hand uh, is gonna warm up the water inside of the glove so basically it's like a scuba suit, I guess. Uh, it, it's gonna warm warm it up, and uh, yeah, so so you won't get cold. You will be wet, but it, it'll be warm water inside your glove. Okay, uh, this is my this is really beat up. I had this for a, f a few years, I think. I, th I think I had this for about three years, maybe. Um, I really like these. Uh, the fingerless. Uh, these are good summer, summer gloves. They're really comfortable. Uh, these are from Cabela's as well. 
Um, I think I paid probably somewhere around fifteen twenty dollars for these. Uh, they don't hold up that well. I had to sew well, not me, but my girlfriend. She had to sew up the seams a couple of times. I uh, had, had a request for her to do that because they kind of busted somewhere. She did a pretty good job because I don't really, I can't really find where it busted, and I know it did bust somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where. Um, I've had this again for a long time. The only thing I really don't like about oh, there's the bust. Okay. <laughs> But uh, the only thing I really don't like about this is when you handle fish. The slime, man, it, it just gets really in there. Uh, yeah, it's something you don't want to leave in your car in the summer. Because uh, your, your car is going to stink. Your trunk will stink if you have, uh, if you have this and you forget to rinse it off. Uh, and, I, and I did beat the crap out of these. Uh, so I can't say for what it is, I say it's pretty good. Not bad. Um, but I use this mostly for fluking, really. Um, yeah, so this is this is one of my favorite summer gloves. Um, for my all-around glove, um, now these are new. These are new to me. These, I just recently found out about these. Uh, actually, f I found these at work. And I like them so once I put them on, I was like, whoa, these are going to be great fishing gloves. I knew instantly, once I put it on, these were going to be fantastic fishing gloves. So I've been fishing with these for the last year, I believe. But the thing was, I only had one pair of these from work. And uh, uh, when I could remember to get them uh, and fish with these, I did. But there were a lot of times where I would just misplace them. And when I used to go out, uh, I never had them. But recently, I just uh, bought a 12-pack of these on Amazon, and it was a little bit pricey. It's not like those $1 jammies. Uh, these run you about 5 bucks a piece if you get like a single, like a, like a pair. But if you get like a dozen, it'll probably drop down to less than $4 you'll be paying. So like three eighty or something like that. Okay, but these are fantastic because they feel great. So this is called uh, the Maxi Flex Ultimate. Uh, the number is three four eight seven four. This is size large. They fit true to size. Like I said, I'm a large, and these fit perfect. As you can see, I don't know if you can see here. Uh, it's seamless. There are no there are no seams here. Made really well. It's kind of like, I don't know what it is, it's uh, they call it foam suction or something, a micro foam suction. It's dipped in this like, it almost feels like light sandpaper, but it's not hard at all. It won't scratch anything. It's pretty much made up entirely of uh, some type of rubber foam. Uh, and the good thing about this, it breathes. This whole thing breathes. Uh, this is pretty much nylon spandex or something like that and these are so comfortable making fishing knots tying fishing knots is not a problem so these are really good I've been using these a lot and I have two friends that I fish with I gave uh, I told one of my friends to, to fish with these uh, give it a shot he's like no 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 I don't want to use these He'd rather use the tape, you know, the Johnson & Johnson sports tape. Um, but I'm like, dude, try these out. You're going to love them. You won't need the tape. Um, you know, the braid, this protects your finger from the braid very well. So he tried it, actually. Um, uh, he went out by himself, and he tried, and he fished all night with these. And uh, next time I met up with him, he's like, Tony, man, these gloves are awesome. These are really good. He really liked them. And then... Uh, just the other night, what was it, last night, uh, I gave uh, another good buddy of mine um, uh, a pair of these. Uh, he tried it on for, for, the, for the night that we fished together, and he actually liked these a lot as well. So it's not just me. Uh, it's pretty much everyone I gave it to really like them. Uh, very, you know, I mean, the dexterity is great. I mean, you could even see the, the creases of my fingers you know uh, 
uh, you could grip fish with these because they're, like I said, they're kind of like, they're kind of like sandpapery, but it's it's soft. It's not uh, it's not like sandpaper. Um, yeah, and uh, if you're you, if you're on jet, on jetty rocks, um, and you're sliding down those jetty rocks or whatever, uh, these are pretty good abrasion resistance. And the and the good thing about these is, I I started to use these a lot actually. Um, um, the sand, I hate sand. Uh, that's like one of my pet peeves. A wave comes by and hits your leg, and the water comes up and hits like your reel, your the handle on your reel, and your hands. Uh, and there's gonna be sand in there too. Uh, and then you grab your handle, and it's like full of sand, and your hands are your hands are sandy. I just I just don't like that. <laughs> um, yeah. So so when I use these, I don't feel the sand at all. Sand does not penetrate these gloves. You'll have nice. Uh, you'll be nice and comfortable with these all day long. Uh, now, these aren't water resistant, but I know that this company does uh, make a water resistant glove, which I'm going to check out. Um, I'll probably purchase those and fish with those and see how I like them. Uh, but the but regardless, these are general purpose. Uh, the only thing is. It's not waterproof, um, so you, once your hands get wet and it's like 40 degrees out, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty cold. Um, so they're called Maxiflex Ultimates. Uh, so check these out. Uh, the I believe the company is made by ATG. Uh, these are sanitized. Um, I do have sensitive uh, skin and. I haven't had any type of itching or rashes or anything from these, uh, so uh, this is a this is better than those that rubber coated made from China stuff, you know. So yeah, so stay away from those dollar gloves. I would definitely pick up these for a little bit more money. You'll you'll get superior dexterity and uh, just it's just super comfortable. It's not like those cotton gloves that those fish market guys use no nothing like that um, so just check these out um, definitely one of my favorite gloves now all right guys so that's it for today's video um, I hope this helped you guys out a little bit uh, I'll see you out on the water stay safe stay warm take care Fingers on my side.